What's good? What's good? It's the one and the only, but what do I know? Boxing coming back at y'all with another one, man. So we got Gary Russell in the news once again. Not for a fight, but for calling out Tank Davis, okay? Now, if you guys follow my channel, um, and I want to first and foremost, I want to say thank you for everybody that has subscribed. I mean, that means a lot. You know, a lot of people come on here criticizing and talking stuff, but I mean, then they don't try to do their own YouTube channel because they don't want to go through the grind. They just rather type and talk a little stuff on the chats. But anyways, I mean, it means a lot, grind, but... If you guys followed my channel from the beginning, bro, you guys know I've been talking about this for years now, or for a few years at least, <laughs> and I ain't had my channel up that long, but for, um, since, I say, okay, since early 2023, I've um, been speaking about this, right? So a year and a half, or almost two years. Um, Gary, Gary Russell continues to call out Tank Davis, and... I continue to have a problem with that, all right? Um, I'm gonna go ahead and get into the article. I'm gonna read the article, and then I'm gonna go ahead and give my opinion because while Gary would say I'm hating, I'm really, a, I'm a fan of Gary, but it's like, bro, somebody, somebody, he needs to hear this message that I, I'm, I'm about to bring out. Somebody has to tell him. Somebody just gonna have to be honest with, with Gary, and I love Gary. I, I'm a huge fan of Gary, Antoine Russell, but I, I'm, I'm a fan of the Russell family in general. Rest in peace to Big G. So, uh, let me go ahead and get into the article, and then I'm going to get my opinion. So, shout out to BoxingScene.com. It says, Gary Russell Jr. nominates himself to fight Javante Davis. Once again, Jerry... I said Jerry. <laughs> Once again, Gary Russell Jr. is calling for a fight with Javante Tank Davis. I would love to get back in the game. Russell said in a recent interview with the Boxing Source, I hear Tank don't got an opponent yet. What's up, Tank? They say you ain't got no opponent yet. I'm open for it. That's what... Gary Russell is saying the tank. Russell is more than open to it, give, open to it, given that he's been mentioning Davis' name for years. In December 2020, Russell promised he would spank. He would quote. Unquote, <laughs> he did say that. It says in 2020, Russell promised that he would quote unquote spank that ass. <laughs> it literally says that just like that. That's funny. <laughs> he, he said that a lot though. In February 2021, he rep he said he represented too much of a risk for Davis. In July 2021, Russell said that the fight with Davis would sell more pay-per-views than Tank than Tank's then most recent fight against Mario Barrios. In January 2022, just days ahead of Russell's last appearance in the ring against Marks Mar Maxano in the DC the DC area native called for the fight with Davis, who holds who hails from nearby Baltimore in a rematch and a rematch with Vasily Lomachenko. It go back even further and continues today. It's never been personal or anything like that, Russell told the boxing source. I just think the sport, it's been too small for both of us to coexist and, and not at all at least come together to see what'll happen. For some weird reason, he strayed away from it, him or his team. Russell has had more interviews talking about Davis in recent years than the former featherweight title holder has appearances in the ring. That's a fact. I'm not, and I'm not even being funny with that. That's a fact. Often criticized for just taking one fight per year from 2015 until the pandemic altered, altered schedule of 2020. Russell then uh, spent nearly two years out of action with his win in February, t with his win in February 2020 over. Na ah, what's the name? Nayambiar, and then losing his WBC belt to Max Sanyo via majority decision in tw in January 2022. Russell's father passed away in May 2022. One of Russell's brothers passed away also in 2022. And Gary Russell Jr. helped has helped raise that brother's children. Davis, who has the record of 30 and 0, 28 knockouts, hasn't been at February. I mean, I'm sorry, at featherweight since 2014, very early in his career. Though he could be conceivably, he could conceivably move up, given he's been at he that he's been at 126 since turning professional in 2009. Damn, you talking about Gary Russell? I ain't even realized that. That's crazy. Davis is a former junior middleweight. I'm sorry. Davis is a former junior lightweight title and holds the WBA title at 135. Davis is also one of the biggest superstars in the United States. So it's little surprise that Russell has even more reason to call out Tank. Davis last fought in June when he stopped Frank Martin. He 
He is expected to headline another pay-per-view before the end of 2024, though, though his opponent is yet to be announced. Negotiations with Lomachenko didn't produce an agreement. Lomachenko's team said that Ukraine is taking the remainder of the year, the, taking off for the remainder of the year. Which, in, in my opinion, I do consider that as a duck because, uh, like, people, people are gonna get mad at that, and a lot of people that are that are uh, emotional, they're not gonna like the fact that I'm calling that a duck. But it is what it is. You're just gonna have to bite the bullet because the reason why is it's no. It, Lomachenko said he's not um, motivated to to fight Tank now. I don't, I don't know how the hell you motivated to uh how I don't know how the hell you're not motivated to fight Tank, but whatever, that's a duck. Grant granted, yes. People also have this weird notion in saying that just because Tank Davis fought, um, I mean just because Tank Davis ducked uh Lomachenko, uh this now that Lomachenko is is uh no longer wanting to fight Tank, that this is no longer this is not a duck, and that's not true. Yes, Tank did Tank and his team did avoid Lomachenko. That's an absolute fact. I'm not gonna disagree with that at all. I've actually stated that multiple times on my channel. Um, they did. He did avoid Tank. I mean, he did avoid Lomachenko, but. That doesn't take away from the fact that Lomachenko has now avoided him. So if you call Tank a, a, a duck for the same thing that Lomachenko was doing, how do you not call Lomachenko a duck? It, it is what it is. Um, so anyways, sorry y'all. Um, anyways, that's my little rant. Davis and Shakur Stevenson went separate in separate directions in a rematch. A rematch with Isak Cruz has become less appealing once Cruz has lost to Jose Rao of Venezuela. And a lot of people were talking about Tank possibly fighting Rao, but then Isak just recently, this is me telling you guys, Isak recently um, announced that he wants to go ahead and exercise his rematch clause against um, Rao or whatnot. So Gary Russell continues to say, y'all need somebody to fight and I'm open to it. So let's go ahead and talk about it, man. You know, I ain't talked about uh, this in a little minute, but uh, let's go ahead and get into it. All right, so Gary, somebody needs to tell Gary Russell this. And again, why he would think that I'm hating, I'm really not hating. I'm just stating the obvious, bro. Gary, first of all, let me say this. No, followers does not equate to, to everything, right? But it does gauge, it gives you a little gauge of how popular a person is um, or whatnot. Now, granted, I do understand that a lot of fighters... Uh, of yesterday's generation are not going to have as many followers as um, the guys of today's time because Instagram is more of a, a, a new generational thing. You know what I'm saying? So I get that as well. So I, that's why I say it doesn't tell all, but I will say this here. All right. Gary Russell, I think, I believe has like 60,000 followers on Instagram. No, that does not equate to anything, but I'm, but just hear me out. Gary Russell you have not done anything to keep yourself relevant in these last few years to even warrant or even have fans want or uh, demand a fight against you and Tank Davis. Now, if you guys follow my channel, like, of, you know, last year, actually, even before I even had this channel, two, two years ago, three years ago, I was begging for this fight myself. I wanted this fight to happen. Um, I really, really wanted this fight to happen a few years back, right? But... Unfortunately, Gary, since 2020, Gary Russell has only fought twice, and one of those fights are lost. Granted, yeah, I thought that that uh, it, you know, I great Gary Russell only fought with one arm, and he really still could have pulled it off. But at the end of the day, he lost his title, right? I've always stated if Gary Russell wants a fight with Tank Davis, then what he needs to do is he needs to move up to one. Stop talking about the big fighters at 135 and move up to 135 and fight. And that way, one of these big fighters are, is going to be forced to have to fight you at some point. But Gary Russell chose not to do that. Instead, Gary Russell chose to just stay at 126, stay inactive. Complain about fighters not fighting him while still calling out Tank Davis and somehow in some mysterious way thinking that he's supposed to be old to fight with Tank Davis. And in a some delusional world thinking that that fight is going to sell more pay-per-views than whatever the case may be. And that's not the case. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm just keeping it 100. I'm just doing something that, that needs to be said. I'm saying something that needs to be said for the longest. Gary Russell is not a draw. Tank Davis is a draw. So what is the incentive for Tank to fight you? You don't compete in his weight class. You haven't made any noise. 
you haven't even you haven't even won a fight since 2020 because you've been inactive. So where is the incentive to fight you? It's not none. Hardcore boxer fans like me at one point would have been happy, but I don't even want to see it anymore because, bro, you've been inactive. Like, it's just a fact. You've been inactive, dog. And, like, it's just it, it's something that you need to hear, my guy. I'm not hating on you at all. I love you and I love your family, bro. But you are not active enough to be trying to call out Tank Davis and thinking that he's going to get a fight with you. Now, do I believe you can beat a lot of them guys at 135? Hell yeah. I've always said that. But my whole thing is you haven't, you have not put yourself in a position to where Tank has to fight you. And how do you do that, right? I, I, how do you put yourself in a position where Tank has to fight you? Well, it's, it's so simple yet very complicated, all right? And I'm going to explain how. So this is what you do, champ. Boom. You first you move up to 135, right? Because clearly that you know you you I don't I don't I I mean he says he can make 126, but if you're trying to fight a fighter at 135, you can't be competing two weight classes below and expect them to really take that call out serious or even entertain that because at that point once again, what is it what's in there for for them, right? So you first move up to that fighter's weight class, right? Now, are you going to get a title shot off your first move up Move up when you first move up? No, absolutely not. Why? Because for one, you've been inactive. For two, you're not a big draw. For three, you're coming off of a loss. All right? So what do you have to do? You can't expect the big names to fight you. So you fight the next bit, the, the, the best guy that you can possibly fight to get yourself ranked. Right? Once you get yourself ranked and fight that guy, are you going to get a shot with Tank Davis? Probably not. Why? Because once again, you're still, you're, you're just now getting yourself back. You don't even, you're not, not a big name or whatever the situation may be. So what do you do next? You continue to fight. You fight maybe, if, I mean, I would, I would like for you to fight at least, you should probably, if you're trying to get back serious, you need to be fighting at least three times a year, right? Now, granted, yes, with everything that's going on with PBC, that's impossible, right? And I'm not even going to blame the PBC for your inactivities because, quite frankly, Gary Russell's been inactive on only fighting once a year since the U. The, I'm going to say UFC since the PBC has been actually putting on fights twice a year for each fighter, right? So that's I'm not even going to fully blame the PBC on that one. But the thing is, you got to be active, right? Once you're active and you're beating guys, then guess what, bro? Your name gets bigger. People are going to start calling for their fight or. You, you 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 get in the right uh, sanctioning organization. You fight the right guy. This is the business move. This is the business side that a lot of people don't understand about the sport of boxing. You fight the right guy in each sanctioning by, sanctioned body or sanctioned organization. You have the WBC at 126, but you move up. Tank has the WBA. You fight the right guys, or at least try to get the right fights with the right guys at at uh, at, at 135. And I don't. I could go into depth with that, but I really don't want to. Uh, because then we'll have to pick and choose who we can fight. I know, um, I know, uh, Matchroom has offered him a fight with some of their fighters at, at, no, sorry, I didn't know what that was, at one particular time, but nothing came about that, so, uh, you know, he's, cause he didn't, you know, I don't know, is he said he didn't want to fight, I don't know, wasn't enough money, whatever the situation may be, you, um, but anyways, you fight in in the or in the WBA uh, organization, right? You then become mandatory. Tank is probably still not going to fight you, but you would have uh, you would have the fans more so on your side to order that fight with Tank, or maybe he would fight you, depending on like the type of draw you bring or whatever by that time. But that's how you get a fight with Tank Davis, or at least one of the big names at 135. Not by just sitting two weight classes below them and calling them out while being inactive and then having went, having won a fight in four years. That's not going to get you a fight, bro. Not with the big names, because what's in it for them? You have to remember, boxing, it, for to get a champion, it has to be some type of... It, it, has, it has to be a reasoning for them to want to fight you. That's just today's time. It's, it is what it is. Nothing personal, just a reality. In today's time, in order for the champion to fight you, it has to be something for them to gain. And you have nothing for Tank Davis to gain at this point. All right? So I don't see this fight happening. I really wish Gary Russell would put himself in a position. One of these fighters would fight him. Do I think it's Tank Davis? No, not right now at least. But one of these fighters at 135 would fight you. All you got to do is just put yourself in a position to where you can't be denied. And one of them definitely will, and you'll get that opportunity. But until then, bro, 
come on, bro. Like, stop. It's getting old, and it's like, bro, it's almost like, damn, bro. It's almost like it's just like you just putting your whole, your career on hold, kind of like how Triple G did with 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 Canelo. But at least Triple G was fighting other guys. You know what I'm saying? Like, you just putting your career on hold and just asking for tank, and it's like, fam, like when are you gonna get it? The man is not gonna fight you. You have nothing. You bring nothing right now. It, it just that's the way boxing works today. All right. Love you, but I'm just giving, telling you what you need to hear, all right? Let me know what you guys think. Make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe. But what do I know?